did while dinosaurs couldn't keep me away. How you feeling, sweetheart? Hi, what's in the bag? Oh, what's in the bag? This bag? Well, it's a bunch of good gift well presents for you. This one's from Abigail. Look at it, it's so cute. It's a horse so you can gallop out of here. <laughs> and this one, this one's for me. My new favorite video game. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, sweetie. Can I have a hug? Thank you. I want the truth. Well, what a surprise, Alan Michael. I haven't seen you for a while, son. I trust you and Look, Lucy Father, are doing well. Cut the chit chat, all right? Answer me this. Did you have Griffin Williams shot? How can you ask me a question? Yes or no? I vote yes. I wouldn't put anything past him. Mr. Thorpe, you shouldn't be here. Oh, I just... And who are you, may I ask? Oh, I'm Bridget Rudin's family. I just told you that my wife and son conspired to set me up. I'm not crazy. They just made it look that way. You should be at Midland Hills under the care of Dr. Dobson. Judge, I don't need a shrink. I never did. There's nothing wrong with me. Please pay attention. My wife and son conspired to make it look like I was insane. Then they went to the Cayman Islands to celebrate having me committed. See, everybody thinks they can't stand each other, but the fact is they can't stand to be apart. Now, look at them. Look at them, lusting after each other. Huh? Now you see that I'm telling you the truth? What did you just say? Nothing. You just said you loved me. I said I love UFO stories. I think that some of them might be true. I'm not sure about the alien autopsy thing, but we'll talk knock about it, it off, later. Knock it off, Dina. I heard what you said. Well, then why did you ask me what I said? You said it. Yeah. Okay, I said it. Do you mean it? married to a dentist, we're always getting free samples of toothpaste. But what do I do? I buy Mentodent. Mentodent has all three ingredients dentists recommend most for the care of teeth and gums. Fluoride, baking soda, and peroxide. These are the ingredients my husband recommends. On your toothbrush, into your mouth, as you're brushing, you can feel bubbles everywhere. Hundreds of bubbles all over your mouth giving you a fresh, clean feeling. Mentodent's accepted by the American Dental Association. My husband would never recommend a product that wasn't. What would you do with a hundred grand? I would buy everyone a puppy. I would sprinkle flower seeds all over the world. I'd eat it. <gasps> Rich chewy caramel, creamy milk chocolate, and crispy little crunchies. A hundred grand from Nestle. That's rich. There's peak news and snacks. A new kind of pickle that's amazingly little. New Vlasic Snackums. Crunch City. In bread and butter, Cajun and kosher dill. That means yummy. New Vlasic Snackums. The perfect little pickle for snacks. I'm Betty. This is Pat. Hi. We're the Reynolds Wrap Kitchen's home economists. To show the best way to wrap sandwiches, we put one in Reynolds Wrap, the other in a plastic sandwich bag. Pat's gonna field test them. <laughs> How the 
hold up. Looks like Reynolds Wrap is the best wrap for your kids' sandwiches. One more reason, Reynolds has it all wrapped up. Need a little pick-me-up? We understand. But why not have a Boost? The delicious shake that's got 25 vitamins and minerals with carbohydrates and protein instead of caffeine for nutrition and real energy that lasts. Boost, the perfect snack for imperfect people. Anxiety? My anxiety is getting my waist back after having twins. I'm not getting rid of a few gray hairs. With Clarol's Loving Care, there's no risk. It's as gentle as shampoo. Loving Care from Clarol. You have nothing to lose but the gray. Diego is a master manipulator. How can someone who is so beautiful be so dangerous? He knows just how to set the stage. It's magical. <laughs> to get what he wants. I don't let people disappoint me twice. But what exactly does he want? Talk. And you'll regret it. This week, as the world turns. The Republican convention kicks off. Complete team coverage tonight on the CBS Evening News. You love me. I didn't think you could ever love me. I mean, I didn't think you could ever love me after I used you to get back at Roger. Yeah, well, I, I guess I got over that. I mean, how could I be so stupid to not see this sooner? Now, we just got so wrapped up with, with my father. I thought, you know, I, I thought you got wrapped up, too. Yeah, I, I was, and you got dragged into it, too, and... Well, this, I, this is what I wanted to talk to you about, McCain's, but Yeah, you know what, Hart? It's okay. Always... It's okay. Um, just forget I mentioned it. it. Roger's on his way to Judge Huffman, so I have to Diana, go. what do you mean, forget you mentioned it? You just... You can't tell me that you love me and then leave. If I don't get over there, Roger's gonna ruin everything. This isn't how I wanted it to be, Well, though. I didn't want it to be this way, either. If Bridget doesn't stop him, no, I'm gonna have to. That's not what I'm talking to. about. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna me. be fine. I'm gonna come with you. No, no, no. It's just, you know what? Forget it, because it's all just too complicated now. Why don't you, you stay here, call Roger Shrink, Dr. Dobson, have her come get Roger at the courthouse, and I'll Dino, call you wait a minute. There's Let me no talk time. There's minute. no time. <laughs> she loves me. Yes, she loves me. <laughs> Observe the date. Observe them looking at each other and smiling with that, that uh, cocky, we did it look. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> I can't. I know. I know. Bailiff. That's right. Get a warrant for their arrest, lock them up, and throw away the key. Uh, stay calm, Mr. Thorpe. No one's going to hurt you. Oh, I'm perfectly calm. Mr. Thorpe, how many fingers am I holding up? Two? Why? How many people are in this photograph? Is this a trick question? Two? Are you sure? It's a picture of my grandson. What, what do you, where'd you get this? You just gave it to me. Wait a minute. I gave you a picture of my wife and son on the beach. Don't you play games with me. I gave you a picture of my wife and son. I'm sure you thought you did. OK, where's the photo? Huh? Bridget, tell him. Tell him now about Hart and Dinah. Come on, tell him now! Uh, I, I just came by to bring Shane some get well presents. So I see. Come over here, give me a hug. Whoa. Well, um, you take care, mm. sweetheart, okay? And, and don't forget that your mama loves you. Listen, you don't have to go, okay? I'm sure that uh, Shane would love to have you stick around for a little while. Yeah, stay. Well, I wouldn't want to disappoint my boy now, would I? <laughs> okay, I will. Oh, look, this what is what got? Abigail brought him. Yeah. The horse. Well, That's nice. Mama brought me the horse. Kind of lost the rider there, huh? Well, Abigail brought me the horse. I see. Mama brought me the horse. Oh, <laughs> wow. She must be a mind reader. He's been bugging me about this game for as long as I can remember. Look at that. Well, actually, the box did say that it was appropriate for his age and, and up. Oh, that's no problem. I've got no problem with games like these. I mean, as long as it doesn't turn his mind into cyber rot or something like that. Now, now listen, this is the deal on this, all right? For every one hour you play this, you've got to spend two hours reading Shakespeare. How's that? Oh, Shakespeare. Oh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Look at that. Wait, 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 w
got to look at this, too. See, you got to jump over this guy. I was playing Careful. this game look in the store. You got another guy coming him. in this way, though. No, but no, 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 Hi. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Having fun in here. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. We uh, have a guest. Yeah. Hi, Riva. Hi. How you doing? Just fine. Um, I just came by to bring Shane some some gifts. Mm. Yeah, Mama brought me this. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and Abigail oh, actually nice. her brought him Mr. Horsey. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> You're one lucky guy. Well, um, I I'm I'm gonna go. But Shane, sweetheart, I'll um, I'll see you in the morning, okay? Um, you can't. He won't be here. He's being released? Yeah, and we're going on a trip Yay! to celebrate. All together, the whole family. No, I did not order Griffin Williams shot. You also said you had nothing to do with the taking down of Fifth Street until you're forced to tell the truth. That was different. Come on, Dan. You're just talking about having a guy shot. I mean, that's, I'm not sure that that's really all that much worse than setting up your own son. You or me? Me. Phil, if I did not have you set up. Sure, Dan. So doing prison time with Neil Everest, that was just a coincidence, right? Wait, father and Everest went in prison together? Absolutely not. Your sister concocted a lie to uh, divert suspicion from herself. When in truth, Amanda is the only one that's ever been involved with that man. No, Dad. No, Amanda was telling the truth. I have Ross do a little checking. Seems that you spent 17 days in a cell with Neil Everest in June of 89. Well, fancy that. So now that we know you were lying, are you still going to stand there and, and try to tell me that you don't remember this man? What's more complex than the female body? The female mind. And when it thinks the body might be pregnant, it chooses clear blue easy. Blue, you're pregnant. Clear, you're not. So accurate mind and body rest assured. Clear blue easy. How fast does maximum strength Ambisol start to relieve cold and canker sore pain? Before you can say... Ambisol. Get maximum strength relief from minor mouth pain on contact. Maximum strength Ambisol. Put it on. The pain is gone. Nice catch, Billy. Thanks, Mrs. V. You're a great coach. And you can bake, too. But, Billy, I do. Yeah, don't be modest, Mrs. B. Look at all these chocolate cookies. She even made a chocolate crust. This must have taken you forever. New Jell-O no-bake cookies and cream. Anyone can whip one up in 15 minutes. Hey, Mom, let's give Billy's mom a recipe. New Jell-O no-bake cookies and cream. No-bake one for your team. If you're a puppy, you've got to wonder what there is to look forward to after this. Well, now this new Purina Puppy Chow with chicken protein. It's the taste puppies love, and it's the brand of puppy food more breeders buy. Purina Puppy Chow with chicken protein. Just when a puppy figures life will never get any better, it does. To see the difference between Puffs Plus and ordinary tissue, look for extra soothing here here because puffs plus has lotion with aloe and vitamin e puffs plus the extra soothing ones to care for your loved ones damage this hair don't even think about it protect it from the start with vidal sassoon shampoos and conditioners they help protect each strand to its cuticle edge the sassoon system professional care for your hair What are you doing here? Why aren't you out there trying to find out who shot my dad? How is your father doing? He's critical, but he's stable. The good news is that he's alive. Now, the good news will be when you tell me you arrested somebody for this. Marcus, we're working on it. You're not it. working hard enough on this, Frank. Listen, I know you're frustrated, but solving a case takes time, okay? You gotta talk to people, so you gotta gather evidence. So why are we standing evidence. here talking about it? Why aren't you out there right now doing it? The reason I'm here is to find out the angle of the bullet that entered your father's body. The fact that the bullets at my father at all is enough for me. We need to see if it's consistent with where we found the shell casing. Why don't you just save yourself some time and go and arrest Spalding for this? Alan Spalding was having dinner with his family the night your father was shot. Oh, come on, Frank. You're a cop. He's not going to do it himself. He's going to pay someone to do his dirty work. But you haul him in for questioning and beat the truth out of him. Yeah, that's funny, Marcus, because that's exactly what I wanted to do with you when Detective uh, Cutter was stabbed. Am I so glad I didn't, to Thank right? you for this, please. You know what, Marcus? I understand where you're coming from. I know you're frustrated, right? If somebody shot my dad, I'd be going crazy right now myself. 
But rushing to judgment is the wrong thing to do right now. I told my dad that we were going to find out who did this to him. He told me Alan Spalding. Now, what more do you need than that? The knife that was used to stab Detective Cutter had your fingerprints on it. Look, I don't even... What more proof did I need? I don't know why we're arguing about this. Spalding is responsible for this, whether he pulled the trigger or not. Maybe, maybe not. That bullet nicked my father's heart. And he almost died. Now, either you find out who's responsible for this, or I will. You know, Philip, I was in prison with any number of men. Some for days, some for months. And at the risk of sounding elitist, I didn't get chummy with any of them. Oh, I'm not suggesting that you and Neil were pals, Dad. I, I don't think that would keep you from doing business with him. How can you take this one bit of information and somehow get that I had Griffin Williams shot is beyond me, Philip. Hey, you destroy men all the time, Dad. What is, what's the distinction that I'm supposed to see here? You, what, you, you, you draw a line at gunplay, is that it? You know, I'm really sick of these accusations. But wait a minute, maybe, maybe it wasn't supposed to happen this way. Maybe, maybe this was just your not-so-subtle attempt at trying to scare Williams, is that it? Kind of a warning shot that hit a little too close to home? Right. That's ridiculous. Is it? We all know you can justify anything you set your mind to, Father. I'm sure you're sorry about it. You're always sorry, You know, Philip, if I'm so reprehensible, why are you here? Why do you insist on being a member of this family when I disgust you so much? Well, at the moment, Dad. <laughs> at the moment, this family is all the family that I have. As my wife has filed for a separation. I'm sorry, Philip. I, I, I'm very sorry. I didn't. Come on, Bridget. Tell the judge about Hart and Dinah, how they took a vacation in the Cayman Islands sipping pina coladas with my money. Is this true, Miss Redden? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You see? In Roger's mind, it's true. What? I mean, I heard him talking, to, uh, raving about how, how they had done this to him when he was ransacking. You're lying. Why are you doing oh, this to me? Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention, okay? She's lying to protect her son's fa... You switched the photos on me. No, Leave no, her I think alone, Roger... Mr. Come on, give her back. Give your face. Face. Oh, 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 Come on. Thank goodness you're all right. Shut up. Okay, one of you is going to tell the truth. Which one wants to go first? This season, I'm always congested. But some medicines cause unwanted side effects. So I take Sudafed. Sudafed drains sinus pressure, clears nasal congestion, with no over-drying, no drowsiness. For strong relief without those side effects, take Sudafed instead. Turn your toothbrush into a lethal weapon. Cool Mint Listerine Fluoride Toothpaste. It kills the germs that cause plaque or a clean feeling that goes beyond brushing. Cool Mint Listerine Toothpaste. The power of prevention. If you could take the smoothness of white velvet and freeze it, put all of summer into one strawberry, and turn the sweetness of your very first kiss into a ribbon of fudge, if you could do all those things, you'd have haagen -Dazs. It's just perfect. Trust your natural instincts. They'll lead you to new Tampax Naturals tampons. The only leading tampon or pad made of 100% cotton that absorbs gently and expands naturally for unbeatable protection. New Tampax Naturals tampons. Now you can own Disney's hilarious hit, Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. The Seavers are taking off for Canada, but Chance, Shadow, and Sassy are taking a little vacation of their own. This time, they're hitting the streets. Heads up. Coming through. And using every oh. trick they know to get back home. Oh, duh. You can own the adventure that's more fun than the original. Disney's Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. Rated G. Nice buzz, cuz. Getting to fight a little lawnmower? I was at my daughter's for the weekend. I was just settling in for the night when the pain started. I knew I wouldn't get a good night's sleep. And I was worried about taking something, about how I'd feel the next morning. Then Susie told me to try her Tylenol PM. Well, the pain stopped. I slept through the night. The Tylenol PM worked great. The next morning, I was up even before the kids. And I had so much energy, I wore them out. Rest easy. It's Tylenol PM. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment.
It's the splashiest, flashiest spectacular of the summer. Miss Teen USA! With Bob Gowen, Sherry Belafonte, and the Monkees. Miss Teen USA, CBS, August 21st. A good afternoon to you. I'm Beverly Burke. Coming up on Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 4 o'clock. How fast are fire code violations being fixed at more than a dozen D.C. public schools? We'll have a live report. We'll have the latest on the shooting of an off-duty police officer in a park in Prince George's County. A suspected bank robber is caught on tape uh, in Arlington. Now police want your help in really catching this man. And we'll tell you about a new treatment for wrinkles that involves poison. That's coming up on Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 4. College kids like to sleep in fabric they like to wear. And they tend to like denim. Denim Corduroy or Fleece Comforter, just $79.99 at Linens and Things. You're back to campus headquarters. The quest begins again. I am I, Don Quixote, the man of La Mancha. Robert Goulet is the man of La Mancha, live on stage in the role he was meant to play. Dream, the impossible dream. Robert Goulet in the man of La Mancha. Live on stage at Wolf Trap, August 27th through September 1st only. Tickets at the box office, Waxy Maxies, or call ProTix at 703-218-6500. A new technique can erase years off your face, but is it wrinkle-proof? Find out today at 4. Somebody tell the truth. Calm down, Mr. Thorpe. Let's discuss this like rational adults. Yes, I think you should listen to the judge, Roger. You shut up! I really think you should calm down. You know, you're in enough trouble already. You should have never escaped from the hospital. That was a big mistake. Oh, yeah? So was having your picture taken with heart on the beach. Why don't you explain that to the judge? Come on, Dinah. Explain why you and Hart were in the Caymans days after I was committed. I... I will. Please! If you just give me a chance. Your Honor, you see... I already told the judge about how there really is no picture. And... Liar! And Roger just made it up. You see? <laughs> you see? Look, look, Peter. Judge. You, you, you see how they protect each other? She was about to confess when she stepped in. What were you about to tell me, Mrs. Thorpe? That my husband is delusional. And there's nothing between me and Hart, and I would swear to that on a Bible. Liar! I'll choke the truth out of you. Right! Security! Where the hell is security? There you go! Hold it! Right you there! Hold it! Come on! Bring it! Tell him! Tell him! She's just protecting Hart because she loves him. Dinah can't get Hart if you tell the truth! The truth? Yes! Oh, the truth is... that I never should have come here, and I am taking my son's picture, and I am going. Liar! Traitor! I'll get you for this! You and every one of... last one of you! I know how much you love Beth and Lizzie. You must be in a, a lot of pain now. If there's anything I can do for oh, you, Philip, yeah, I... I'll tell you what, Dad. Why don't you fix it for me? Why don't you pretend that you're a real father and, and you can put your arm around me and, and then I'll pretend that I don't think you're going to stick a knife in my back. Amen to that. Is this what it's come to? It's not what it's come to, Dad. It's what it's always been. God, you think I would be used to it by now. I don't know why I'm not. I guess I, I still want what I can't have. I want a father that, that loves without conditions or agendas. Somebody... Somebody that can actually love me, for me. Isn't that the truth? Alan, Michael, just... <sighs> don't push it. You and I aren't much better. We can't even have a simple conversation without you thinking that I'm out to get you. Whose fault is that? Oh, his, probably. He screwed us up pretty good. But at the moment, it doesn't make much difference. Because until I know who set me up, I can't trust any of you. It wasn't me. Nor I, Philip. Well, prove it! Help me find out who it was. I would if I could, but I can't. Yeah. I'm going to tell you one thing. Your suspicions are hurting this family. Oh, well, they're doing great things for me, Dad. Well, you find out whatever you have to do, but do it quickly. Now, if you will excuse me, I have business to attend. Yeah, go run your business. Look, Philip, I'm sorry about you and Beth and this whole mess. 
I, I wish I could help you. You know, this would just be so much easier if I didn't give a damn. But I do. I love you, Michael. God help me, I love every member of this whole screwed up family. <sighs> me too. Well, well, if it isn't the brother Spalding, the two men most interested in buying my stock. Oh, so you went to him after I made you an offer? It's called selling to the highest bidder. Or do I sell outside the family? Mr. Nagahito seemed awfully nice. Well, that's a first for me. Love wins out over power and money. Enjoy feeling all warm and fuzzy, boys. Me? I'm in the mood for sushi. Wait a minute. For a whole two weeks. Just the four of us. Where to? Well, Daddy said it was a surprise, but I heard him talking to Annie, and he said we're going to a place with whales and dolphins. Hey. Yay! <laughs> oh. And they said it will be like the honeymoon they never had. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to catch the world's biggest fish. Can I, Daddy, please? Well, you know something? Your doctor said that you have to take it easy for a little while, so uh, we're going to have to do that. We don't want to relapse or anything mm. like that. <laughs> What's a relapse? Well, a relapse is when you get sick again after being well. Yeah, you just listen to Annie and your daddy and everything will be fine. Okay, you guys have a wonderful trip. I know it'll be great for all of you. Thanks, Thanks again for the game, Mama. Oh, thank you, sweetie, for, for getting well. Okay, guys, go pack up here, okay? Put your beans away. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. It's letting go when you want to hold on. It's giving them room to grow, make their own decisions. It's feeling good when they choose what you would want for them. Jif's one of those things. They want it because they love it. You choose it because Jif deep roasts its peanuts to bring out more fresh roasted peanut taste, more than any other leading brand. Being a mom is doing the best for your kids, always in all ways. For more fresh roasted peanut taste, choosy moms choose Jif. Introducing new Kleenex Cottonelle Ultra Soft, the softest bath tissue you can buy. With 24% more cottony soft fibers than the leading premium brand, it's a difference you can see for a softness you can feel. So now you can pamper yourself like never before with new luxurious Kleenex Cottonelle Ultra Soft bath tissue. Feel what the softest feels like. Tonight, make perfect rice into a delicious dish with minute recipes like Super Rice. Just add two cups uncooked minute rice to any cream soup for a quick and easy side dish that's perfectly delicious. And the perfect end to a long day. This is your chocolate zone. Indulge it, because now there's sweet escapes. Real Hershey's chocolate with less fat. Sweet escapes, new from Hershey. Want to know a secret? Never stop learning. Well, I just learned something about Depend undergarments. Look, Depend, with the unique cloth-like moisture barrier, has been redesigned to put even more protection where you need it most. And that makes Depend better than ever. That's better. Yeah, well, you learn something new every day. Depend, because you've got a lot of living to do. Monday, Wednesday, take a peek. The nanny's gonna entertain you twice a week. Twice a week means twice a month. Ah! Good God, it's multiplying. The nanny double whammy continues. I wonder how long it's gonna last. Oh, stop along. It's a world gone mad. And tonight she's followed by almost perfect. The nanny. What is it, Joshua? Um, I, I just, uh, I just wanted to... 
say thank you for um, <laughs> for stopping by and seeing Shane. That video game, I'm sure, really meant a lot to him. Well, maybe it'll save a few. Uh, are we there yet? Son of a <laughs> trip. <laughs> yeah, y you know that that vacation. That really is something that we do have to do. Uh, you don't owe me any explanations. A actually, I feel that I owe you an apology. For what? For jumping down your throat when you suggested that Annie might be having a hard time dealing with all of um, all of that, you know. I think you were right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I think she's been under a lot of stress, and I'm hoping that this vacation will give her a much needed break. I hope so, too. I mean, I, I know how hard it is to hear criticisms about the people that we love, and I was just trying to help. I understand, and I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. You, uh, you, you seemed a, a little upset when you walked out just now. What was that all about? Uh, I, um, just the fact that our son's going home, and I, I just remembered that, that we came so close to losing him, and it, it got to me. You know, that kind of an answer might work on other people, but it doesn't work on me. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I hate it that you know me so well. Believe me, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? All right. It finally hit me that you have custody of the kids. You granted me custody I know, of the kids. I know. I just never thought you'd use it. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you can come and go with them or take them anywhere, anytime that you want, it's, it's just weird. <laughs> That's all. You know, there was a time not too long ago when you told me you didn't care about the kids. I know it's just that they've been through so much. Well, I'd be inhuman if I didn't love them. They're my babies. They're, they're our babies. Are you sorry that you granted me full custody? I did what I thought was best at the time. Why don't we just leave it at that? You just go and you have a, a wonderful trip. I mean, we've all moved on. We're all happy now. And help Shane catch the world's biggest fish and all that. I, I don't want to hear any stories about the one that got away. I'll, um, I'll have the uh, kids send you a postcard or something. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure it won't take too much <laughs> I'd like that. Yeah. Don't forget your sunblock. Oh, you, know you know how know, easily you burn. Sometimes I hate it that you know me so well. <laughs> Take care of yourself. You too. All right, I'll see you. Okay. What's going on? Marcus, I mean it. Stay away from Alice Folding. You're only going to complicate things. No one is going to hurt my dad and get away with it. Don't you get it? You're only going to make things worse. Oh, thanks for the lecture, Frank. You know, why don't you just lose your attitude? What did you do? You ran when Detective Cutter got stabbed and only made you look guilty. You told Dahlia the truth about her mom, and now her head's messed up for good. Now, I'll tell you something, Marcus. You mess around with this right now, and your dad's assassin could go free. So what am I supposed to do again? Huh? Nothing? You're supposed to learn from your mistakes. Oh, God. Well, great. So I get a lecture and a cliché on top. I am the luckiest guy I know today. You know, I used to be a hothead, too. And all it did was get me into more trouble. Why don't you just be smart? Take it from somebody who learned the hard way. All right, all right, all right. I already have one dad. I promise I will lay off Spalding if you just can the lecture, man. Fair enough. Marcus, I mean it. Behave. Marcus? Hi. How's your daddy doing? He's critical, but he's stable. That's tough, I know, sweetie. Oh. But the good news is that he made it through the surgery, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what Frank said. So you're looking for leads in Dad's case. Is he close to making an arrest? An arrest? No. He's wandering around the hospital like a reject from Police Academy 9 when I told him who was already responsible for this. You know who did this? Alan Spaulding. Before my dad lost consciousness with the EMTs, he gave me Spalding's name. Now, Spalding may not have pulled the trigger, but he knows who is responsible or he's involved. Marcus, Marcus, if, if that's true, then this is all my fault. What are you talking because about? Because Alan went after Buzz in the entire neighborhood to get back at me. Because he couldn't have me. 
And the worst part about all this is that he just pretends that nothing happened. Gives a few speeches, some rhetoric about what a tragedy this is, and just goes right back to doing what he was doing no, before. there's no stopping Alan once he's made up his mind. I just promised Frank that I was going to lay off, and I'm already regretting it. But if the cops don't question him soon, any evidence they may find will be gone. Hey, papers to check out, Shane. Marcus, there's some things that you just can't control in this world, and people are right up there at the top of that list. My advice to you is that you just make the best of the hand you've been dealt. Could you be any more vague, <sighs> Riva? Listen to Frank. Stay away from Alan. Great. He is way out of your league. Great. So Spaulding can get away with this like he does with everything else? Not if I can prove that he had something to do with your father's shooting. How? Tell me. Just for now, I think the less you know, the better. I'll be in touch if I find out anything. Thanks, Reva. You bet. I love you. Thanks a lot. Get some rest. Okay. Like I said, just make the most out of the hand you've been dealt. Come on, Dinah, what's taking you so long? <laughs> you are not gonna believe. Are you okay? Is Dinah yeah, okay? Yeah, okay. she get to Roger in time? Yeah, she's okay. Uh, she didn't get there in time, though. Oh, you're kidding me. Nope, but I did. I got there in time, and I switched the pictures. Huffman thinks that Roger is wackier than ever. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. I totally had to convince Roger that I didn't trust you at all. And that I knew that the only reason that you had come here or wanted to spend any time with me at all was because you wanted to get closer to Peter. Good, good. That was good thinking. Beautiful. You know what else I did? I cried on Roger. I cried on him so that I could get close enough to switch the pictures. When he found out that I had tricked him, oh, man, did he go berserk. He was violent and yelling and he chased after me. And... He didn't touch Dinah, did he? No. But, you know, no matter how hard he tried to choke the truth out of me, I wouldn't betray you. You know, I don't know how I'm ever going to thank you for this. Mm. No problem. <laughs> Anything for a friend. Yeah. So what happened when she got there? Well, by that time, the bailiff had pulled Roger off me. Is, is my neck still red from where he tried to choke me? No, you're okay. You're okay. He, but uh, Dinah's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, she is. You know, she wrapped Roger around her little finger in two seconds flat. <laughs> Nothing new, right? What did you say? Just, Dinah has a real knack when it comes to controlling men. You evil slut! You did this to me, you and my lousy son. Calm down, Roger. Judge Huffman will think you're unstable. No kidding. It's a conspiracy. Can't you see that? It'll take more than baby pictures to prove your wife and son teamed up to have you committed. Bridget switched the damn photo. Don't be disheartened, though, Mr. Thorpe. You proved something to me today. Ah, you hear that? You it's proved all to me out. that you're a dangerous and violent man. They provoked me with their lies. You escaped from Midland Hospital. Disguised yourself as an exterminator. Heaven knows there's some meaning in that. You attacked two women and threatened me. But no one will listen to me. Really? Well, I've heard quite enough. If Dr. Dobson reports that you're not vastly improved at the end of 90 days, I'll extend your stay at Midland Hills indefinitely. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can, and I will. I'm sorry, Mrs. Thorpe. I can only imagine at what you're going through. Thank you, Your Honor. I just want my husband to be well no matter how long it takes. You hear that? She wants me locked up forever. That's not true. Why, I should have choked you with that scarf. I should have squeezed your scrawny neck until your eyes popped out! Come in. Judge. Dr. Dobson, it's about time. I'm sorry, Your Honor. We only recently received word that Mr. Thorpe was here. What kind of a facility are you running where a, an obvious lunatic can escape with such a pair of ease? Well, we didn't know that he wasn't taking his medication, but I can assure you that things will be quite different from now on. You can't do this. I was, I was desperate. Hold him still. <clears throat> I, just, I just want my husband to be well, that's all. 
liar. Liar. <clears throat> well, um, now that you've seen my husband's mental state, maybe you'll stop sending DAs to check up on me and Hart. I don't know what you're talking about. The spy that you sent to, to, to see if Hart and I were meeting secretly together. He came to the boarding house, was asking all kinds of questions. If someone is spying on you, Mrs. Thorpe, and Mr. Jessup, it's not at my behest. Well, then if you didn't send the guy who did. I'm sure I don't know, and I'd like to find out. Let me see if I can find out something. Thank you. Help yourself, if you like. So I just got married, and my husband says, try Crispix. Crispix doesn't get soggy in milk. Hey, I love the guy, but nobody's perfect. Okay, it starts off crispy. Now, this spoonful is still crispy, but it's gonna turn soggy. So he makes a little mistake. Kellogg's Crispix cereal. Delicious corn and rice that stays crispy to the end. Last bite, it's gonna be soggy. Hey, it's still crispy. He is perfect so far. Say bye-bye to Bottle Foundation and introduce yourself to new Simply Powder Foundation from CoverGirl. Who else? Covers like a liquid, but it's a powder. So natural, so smooth. They should bottle it. But they didn't. CoverGirl put it in a powder, so it feels weightless. Goes on powder light, then goes with you anywhere. Simply Powder Foundation. It's the latest makeup shakeup from CoverGirl. Bye-bye, Bottle. There's a feeling that's beyond clean. We call it crystal clean. And your teeth can experience it with the toothpaste that helps prevent tartar buildup. Colgate Tartar Control. Thousands of micro-cleaning crystals make their way into those tiny spaces between teeth. Crystals you can actually feel. And when you rinse, your teeth feel more than brushed. They feel crystal clean. Colgate Tartar Control. Feel the crystal clean of Colgate. Here's your Pop-Tart. Another one. Yeah, baseball practice. Got the toaster strudel? Oh, of course. So when is your mom gonna find out about toaster strudel? Soon, I hope. Pillsbury toaster strudel is like a Pop-Tart, but better. With layers of flaky pastry, juicy filling, and do-it-yourself icing. So what do you do with the Pop-Tarts? <laughs> Something better just popped up in your grocer's freezer. Pillsbury toaster strudel. Trying to quit. I just spoke with the district attorney's office. No one was sent to investigate you or Mr. Jessup. Really? Is there anyone who would have an interest in your whereabouts or Mr. Jessup's? Not that I can say, no. In that case, I suggest you inquire at the boarding house. See if anyone there knows anything. Yes, that's a, that's a great idea. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm going to do just that. All right. Now, I want you to be able to have a bad day and not turn into the Terminator. I know it's hard for you to break your old habits. I know you were trained as a spy, but this secret agent thing is just not going to play in Peoria. You get what I'm saying? Violence isn't the answer. I want to get better, Doctor. You show me how, won't you? I love a challenge. Violence isn't the answer. 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 Come 
Who says violence isn't the answer? Will they shave your head when you go to prison? I'm not going to prison, Nettie. My loving brothers will see to that. But Miss Alex... Thank you, Nettie. That will be all. Now, don't just stand there. Start bidding. Look, Philip, we don't have to play this their way. I'll buy the stock. You haven't made me an offer yet. And you can have your pick of jobs in the company. I wouldn't trust him, Philip. He may be setting you up again. I want the stock. So that's it. I'm still on your A-list of suspects. You think if I buy the stock, I'm going to forget about my promise? I didn't say that. Philip's offer of 12 million still stands. Going once, going twice. 15. I asked you for a job before, and you gave me the cold shoulder. Philip, I didn't trust you. I told you I wasn't going to take the company away from you. Why didn't you believe me? 15 going once, going twice. 15, three. I didn't believe you for the same reason you don't believe me now. I really wish I knew that I could trust you, Helen Michael. 15-3, going once, going twice. 15-5. I wish I could trust you too, Philip. But after finding you in my office that night, I was looking for proof that I set you up. No, Helen Michael, that you didn't. The offer stands at 15-5. Are you going to trust little brother or not? 15-6. Guess you got your answer. Do I hear a counteroffer? I got plenty of room to go higher, Alan. Oh, now, now, brother dear. Let's play fair. We're all family here. You've got 24 hours to make a counteroffer. You'll get it. You're a real bitch. Cute. Oreo cookies in bed. Mm, this is the new kind of Oreo. Oh, the crumbless kind? 50% <laughs> less fat. There won't be any crumbs. Let me have one. Oh. Come on. New 50% reduced fat Oreo. <laughs> hey, Snackwell's guy, you lost? <laughs> no, this is Snackwell's non fat chocolate yogurt. <laughs> Who's gonna buy chocolate yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> now try new Snackwell's milk chocolate and milk chocolate caramel nut. We asked people to try a nutritious new pasta dish. It's very good. This is wonderful. It's Hamburger Helper's new Italian herb. Hamburger Helper? I'm surprised. Under 325 calories per serving. No preservatives. I'm impressed. Makes a real good, feel good meal. Four oh nine blue glass and surface cleaner. Streak free cleaning that doesn't stop at glass. We're here with Vlad the Impaler. How you doing? Who's still in the dark ages and won't switch the Gladlock zipper bag. I'm an old-fashioned guy. Well, Vladster, what if we reupholster your coffin here with this garlic soup what? in either your bag or the Gladlock bag with the yellow and blue make green seal? Your bag doesn't have a green seal. Yeah. Why resist progress? Use the Gladlock. When it really counts, uh, no pun intended, get Gladlock. Now, let's talk thick, juicy steaks. Let's not. How about chops? All right, that's good. That chops is good. Deep clean your pores while you sleep. New Neutrogena Deep Pore Treatment penetrates all the way down into your pores to clear away blockages and occasional problems. Wake up to a clear complexion with Neutrogena Deep Pore Treatment. I've got exciting medical news. Now Monistat 3 is available without a prescription. So now we can cure a yeast infection with a three-day treatment and still have the brand we trust. Monistat 3 from the number one doctor-recommended cure. What did you say to Philip and Alan Michael that would have them fly out of here like they were shot out by a rocket? Oh, boys will be boys. Aren't you glad you have me? What did you say to my sons, Amanda? I made them an offer they have yet to refuse. My spalding stock in exchange for cash to pay off the IRS, plus a little extra for me. I gave you that stock. You gave me no choice, father. The only other money I have is tied up in Advantage Systems, and since you won't give that money back to me, it was either have a tag sale or not, or sell my stock. You've no one to blame but yourself. 
So you deliberately set up a bidding war between your brothers for your own gain, is that it? I'm a shoe in for spotting of the month. <laughs> This is what a secret passageway looks like. You are a disgrace to this family, Amanda. Why? Because I set Philip and Alan Michael at each other's throats? Oh, please. You've been doing that to them their entire lives. That's what gets you, isn't it? That we're so much alike. Don't flatter yourself. Don't deny it. We both do what it takes to get what we want, no matter who suffers. Have you no remorse, no shame? If I did, we wouldn't be partners. You know, you're lucky to have me, Father. Who else in this family has the guts to do what I've done to maintain our position on Fifth Street? Oh, my God. It was you. You had Griffin Williams shot. Time for your meds. I'm sorry I betrayed your trust. I was wrong not to take the medication. I was wrong to escape. I'll be a good boy from now on, I promise. Don't talk is cheap. You're gonna have to prove you mean what you say. I'll be a model patient from now on. You'll see. We'll start over in the morning. I know something that might help. What? A piano. I love to play the piano. And uh, maybe once you learn to trust me again, you'll let me have one. I mean, it could be just a little portable one with uh, headphones, so I won't disturb the other patients. I'd even pay for it. That is, if my wife hasn't stolen all my money. Well, I'll consider it. Here, take your pill. Let me see. <laughs> okay. It's more like it. You know, Hart, I'm scared. Who are you scared of? Roger. I tricked him. I made a fool out of him. He said he's going to come after me. I just, I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to protect no, Peter. No, no, listen to me, Bridget. You don't have anything to worry about with Roger. I, I, I'm not going to let him touch you or Peter. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I'm going crazy waiting for you. Are you okay? Uh -uh. Yeah, I've been there. Why? Right, what's the matter? What happened? After Dobson tranked Roger and took him away, I told Judge Huffman that I didn't appreciate the DA's office following us around. Only, guess what? No one from the DA's office was ever assigned to keep tabs on us. Huffman checked. Wait a minute. What about this guy Parker that I, I talked to? Yeah, Bridget. What about him? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Because you set this whole thing up, and I know why. Here come the Eureka Bravo 2s, new Boss Plus 12 amp, and our best seller, the Boss 9.5 amp, both with tools on board for above floor cleaning. Bravo 2, easy on your wallet, tough on dirt. From Eureka. Indeed. Choice of sweeteners, there is no choice. All things are not equal. Only this is. Don't be fooled. <sighs> not all blue packets are equal. Only equal says NutraSweet on the label. Equal. No decision. Now, what was that? Forget it. Was that a person? Keep that... moving. It's a surprise. Yeah, well, I'm taking this off. Ta-da! So this. A new department, the place for jeans. Shouldn't we be a Kmart? Look at these names. Look at these prices. We are at Kmart. Way to go, Colombo. Where'd you think I'd take you?
Knowing you? Knowing me. Remember that surprise party? Are you ever going to get over that? My toenails are just going back. This week, all Britannia jeans on sale. Boys stone washed, $11.99. Men stone washed, $15.99. Kmart rules. This is Meg. Always on the move. But she knows exactly where she's going and what's going with her. So isn't it great she takes Kellogg's Nutri-Grain bars? They are easy to pack. But it's the taste of sweet filling and soft crust she really loves. And since they're made with real fruit, Mom doesn't stand in her way. Which is good, because this girl's really going places. Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Bars. The good snack kids get into. In the beginning was the ordinary battery. Then came the long-lasting Duracell battery. The next leap forward, introducing Duracell Power Check, the only battery with a fuel gauge, so you can see how much power it has, anytime, anywhere. New Duracell Power Check, the world's most advanced battery. Experience the insight, analysis, and clear understanding of CBS News coverage of the Republican Convention. Watch Dan Rather for Campaign 96, starting tonight. Wednesday. I've been meaning to take Ernest into the vet. Would you trust Dave's dog in your car? He's been a little leaky. Dave's World, CBS Wednesday. This has been...